There was like some like Reddit thing that somebody sent me that was like, I saw Delaney Rowe at the Bowery Hotel and she had her feet on the sofa <laughs> and she went to the bathroom 27 times and she walked like she was a supermodel. I was Wait, like, that okay. shit is so weird. Come on. I had a UTI. Ugh. That is why I went to the bathroom 27 times. I'm going to clear that up right now. I had a UTI. UTIs are rough. <laughs> I get them too. Welcome back to the Overheard Podcast. Um, I'm Emily, editor from Overheard LA, um, and I have anxiety. I'm Justina, the head of history, and I'm a Scorpio. Nice. We're joined by our friend Delaney Rowe today. Hi, I'm Delaney, and I'm slightly hungover. Ooh, oh, my favorite type. That's a nice move. Mm -hmm. um, Delaney is an actress, writer, comedian, and a Virgo. Um, you may know her from like the internet you're just like a internet super <laughs> you are everywhere that i look it's amazing wow. <laughs> playing like a million characters oh. from indie movies and um they're like they're so specific and accurate like it hurts so i just want to get into that. thank you so much <laughs> who are do you have like a slew of characters that you play or how did you start coming up with these because i feel like these are kind of like what blows up and i i just want to know more yeah about them. no anything that i've had become successful on the internet has been um usually something that i've thought of very last minute filmed in one take and then it kind of goes like that's, that's always how, how it works like any sort of effort you put into something usually doesn't mm -hmm. end up <laughs> hitting <laughs> that's how it always as, goes as i know because they can tell you're trying it's so the kids, you know? real the kids know the, the kids yes the whenever somebody know. is you know desperate for a laugh or like working it too hard yeah. and i felt myself doing that so many times like you know when I'm like oh I want to get like a lot of views this week and then I you know I go for it, it, it you can smell the desperation through the screen <laughs> they're like <laughs> she's looking for a like and I'm not gonna give it to her no exactly <laughs> yeah yeah so the least amount of effort you can give yeah but um I don't you know actually in the last six months I've had sort of like a new era with TikTok and Instagram. I was I've been around for a long time. I haven't had as much popularity though until recently and I think it's because I've kind of switched up what I'm doing, you know. Now I do much more like like I do like one take videos, you know, things that I've thought of more last minute and I kind of am like letting the writing speak more than the performance now which is actually really fun for me and you know because I'm a writer as well yeah. and there are characters you'd love to hate do you find that you get like vitriol because you're doing your job so well at making them not like a character it's so funny and I actually I, you know I want to I clear this up right now oh Ooh, yeah break All it right. on the pod please so what I think is so funny is people are like you know oh my god like you're too believable like show us your real personality blah 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 Literally As performing. I am not an actress. Yeah. I am an actress. Nobody's like, <laughs> nobody's like, uh, Jessica Chastain yeah. really needs to show us her Brad real. Pitt on the street. Like, like show but us that who you is, are. But I think that that's real about TikTok that's specifically TikTok. is like, I feel like people feel like they have such like access to the person mm -hmm. where it's like, you know, mm -hmm. Jessica Chastain, I feel like is not like on TikTok or on Instagram, like as a daily. I yes. mean, I know she is. And like, she, you know, just she to clear up great. this sound bite, this is not me comparing my TikToks to Jessica <laughs> Chastain. I'm saying that into camera. Um, <laughs> but you know she's fantastic i will say that your you did a video recently where it was like i think um it was like 10 facts about me or something mm -hmm. and i looked at that and i was and then i read the comments and the comments were like oh my god she's so good i don't know if she's being serious or not and i actually also was not clear about like whether you were being she's serious or not which is so like, funny to me it's like what would i even be playing at in that you know, you know what i mean like so, yeah. i was like oh i think that the comments also made me second guess it where i was like oh Maybe this was all an act. Like, I don't know. I went like very, it's a I had a moment. Thing. Wait, who's your celebrity crush? My, or okay, young well, Hollywood my, crush? My celebrity crush is David Harbour. David Harbour is a daddy. He's such a daddy. He he's is, such a daddy. He is like I a felt so weird coming out of my mouth. No, like, but that daddy. was like, he's such a daddy. Um, right, we talk about, we yeah, talk about daddies I'll a lot. Um, other celebrity crushes, I, and I really want to know your guys' is I love. Oh, I, I know. I love crush. talking about this. This um, is my favorite. Uh, Chris Rock. Huge, huge Ooh, crush. That's a good one. He is very sexy oh. to me. Um, uh, the, then, um, what's his name? You know, obviously, Jacob Elordi. Who's your latest celebrity crush? I feel like it changes. Um, I mean, my, like, always celebrity crush is Chris Evans. Yeah, we share that. That, for me, <laughs> we is... We share him. But I think it's, like, a personality thing for yeah. me because he's a blonde, which is, again, not usually my type. He is? I, he, I mean, I White, would call him... Brown. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like I would I call him like. Imagine a, him with hair. I don't know why. 
That's Wait, so funny. Can you imagine him bald? I imagine him with sort of gelled hair that what you can't see. Like the... <laughs> it's like, what if this ends up on Dumois and gets us all canceled? <laughs> we, you heard it here first. Chris Evans is bald. <laughs> <laughs> Blind item. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. He, for, I don't know. He's like, all, but it's a personality thing. I think yeah, it's the Boston personality. personality. I like guys that like seem like they would be like a little mean to me, <laughs> but like not in a mean way, but just like in a like in bantery a dominant. way way or I like a, too, oh, okay like, got it just like a sorry banter. i took it I no took i it like so. it i um, like the dominant I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. somebody oh. I, that i'm seeing very casually he was mm-hmm. like i said something another kind of, do my blind I know, right? everything exactly. in code i said something that was admittedly kind of bitchy um and he goes that's such a bitchy thing to say and i was like that's hot thank you <laughs> thank you for being honest are you from la i'm from idaho i feel like that's actually where my husband about, well, is okay what is the culture shock coming from idaho and la to la like i you, none because i was so young so oh, you so know what like i mean i didn't have a personality i was yeah i was seven, I was, <laughs> I was a blog I, I literally just, i was 17 i feel like my life did not start until college yeah yeah i don't know how you guys feel like do you guys even remember high school i don't I, I've got to say, too, like, L.A. is so, I mean, California and L.A., you know, like, everything's so, like, crowded that I sometimes I am like, man, it would be nice to go somewhere where, like, it's not so dead. Like, I bet Idaho feels so I think that's what I'm always chasing is, like, like, you can park anywhere you want in Idaho, I bet. I don't know how to drive. Really? In LA? How are you? Wait, so you don't have a license? I don't, I never learned how to drive. It was something that I just sort of forgot to care about, like when I was growing up and everybody was doing it. I was like, I don't, mm, So how long, how long have you lived in LA not driving? I genuinely curious, like how do you get around? 10 years. Do you take public transportation? I spoiled, no. (laughs) No. Do you ride Uh, a horse? Right, yeah. You know what happens a lot? People come up to me and they'll be like, how do did I know we you? go yeah. to high school together? Like, did we? You're like, definitely not. Are you from Idaho? We know each other. You look so familiar, and I think it's super, you know, like solipsistic to be like, you know me from the internet. Yeah. Yeah. So I would never say that, but I know that's how they know me. That's how they're recognizing yeah. my face. That's like the facial recognition thing that's firing mm-hmm. in their brain. Is like, oh, I've seen her videos. You know, that's the so, hardest thing about LA is just seeing people all the time, and you're like. Have I worked with them? Right. Did I go right. to school like, with them? Were they it? in a yeah. yes. Humira commercial? Like, you never <laughs> yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. But um, no, it's it's so funny. And I'll just be like, I'll let them kind of figure it out. I would, again, never yeah. be like. Let them like swim for a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I don't know. But it's so nice to meet you anyway. And then, oh my God. you know, and then it'll kind of click or something but that's yeah sometimes I feel like the um like interactions like that would give me so much anxiety and I feel like it's so kind because they're a fan and they're you know like they're excited to meet you I could never be famous I get so anxious that I would be like and I gotta go like I'm I'm definitely a bizarre version of myself I think when it happens I'm suddenly effusive with my gratitude you know and so I'm like (laughs) you know and like almost making them regret it um <laughs> they're like you know what no, i this don't person recognize goes home you. and they're like i it, wish i didn't right see a celebrity never meet your heroes <laughs> say it, it, it's interesting like i've seen some things like you know there was like some like reddit thing that somebody sent me that was like I saw Delaney Rowe at the Bowery Hotel and she had her feet on the sofa and she went to the bathroom 27 times and she walked like she was a supermodel. I was like, that shit is so weird. Come on. I had a UTI. That is why I went to the bathroom 27 times. I'm going to clear that up right now. I had a UTI. UTIs are rough. I I get them too. Yeah. You you have like the, you've like commandeered UTIs. Is that like your thing? No, oh, no. I mean, that's not like my star sign or anything. Okay, like, okay. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Cranberries. Head of UTIs that overheard. No, I really don't want that to become my thing. Actually. That's your like. It's your <laughs> thing now. It's your thing. <laughs> Have you ever thought about making like a multiverse movie with mm. all the characters you've created? Because I think you could. The Delaney verse. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, gosh, my favorite ones recently have been. I, I've been doing a character that is like a mock celebrity. Um, Sarah Claire Frost is her name. Oh, I love how you give them names. I like backstory because I only because I say it in the video. Yeah. I don't name my character. I'm not like a, yeah. I'm a, I am a you theater like kid, a but not that weird. Yeah. All of them. Um, but I, I like doing that. I like doing that sort of like you know. I, I did a video. I think I posted it yesterday. That was like kind of 
parodying the like raw like you know you know id like Mm -hmm. those you know or like even like calvin klein ads those like authentic like bu celebrity Mm -hmm. videos i was like this is so dumb um <laughs> like i need to do something with this so i've been having a really good time doing that but i think my favorite video of all time is a video that i did with um an actor his name is johnny burke told and he also does tiktok videos and it was a fake movie trailer for a, an indie film oh i saw that one that, that was amazing was like such a joy to film such a joy to edit like such a joy to see the comments of that like you know when the whole process is really fun like that but that's the thing it's like i wanted that whole movie i think in that video you said you were like i'm actually not a professional chef none here so how did you get into that yeah so i i had sort of an like a like a proclivity towards cooking and making like pretty food Uh so um i I was like, I could, you know, I could probably do this. You know, I was looking for a job. It was right out of college. And um, I was kind of working for a woman who kind of needed like a mother's helper, kind of that mm-hmm. vibe. I would like meal prep for her. And then I was like, wait, I could do this. And so I made flyers that had like a couple photos, like iPhone photos of like some meals that I had made. And then I, um, you know, and then like a massive headshot. <laughs> In LA or in Idaho? This is in LA. Oh. <laughs> and I, w- I, w- I like ran Genius. through Beverly Hills and like the Palisades and just stuffed the flyers into rich people's mailboxes because those are the that's the market for having a private chef. Yeah. yeah. And then it ended up in. Wow, what a good hustle. Yeah, no, I, I will. That's definitely, I'll like never forget, like Respect just like, running hustle. down the street yeah. with like that's my flyers. Um, <laughs> just like running through Bel Air. No, truly. And that's, that's also illegal, by the way. You are not allowed to put flyers in people's mailboxes. I'm going to make a flyer, gonna make a flyer with just my with your dating son and just, profile. Just you go know to like what, Cold though? Water Canyon. That would so work, is the funny thing. Yeah. Like you joke, but that would work. People would think it was so charming and funny. Mm-hmm. The right person would think it is charming. <laughs> the and funny. right person. I was going to say, I don't think the everybody right person. We can go to the right streets. Um, wait, hold on. Okay, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Um, and then it ended up in the mailbox of a doctor at Cedar Sinai and his client at, sorry, his patient. <laughs> <laughs> very LA. Very biz of you. Um, <laughs> well, we just uh, found out doctors are on Raya too, so it's all very LA. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. His patient at the time was Stan Lee, who is like the creator of Marvel. Yeah, yeah of course. And so he was my first client. As Stan a chef? Lee? Yes. Stan Lee? Yes. And oh my I, God. And, you know, he okay. was 95, and I was like, you know, I was hired to cook him vegan food because for his like heart health, and, you know, he mm-hmm. was sick, and um, he hated my food. <laughs> he hated my food. You know, I was making him like red lentil doll. And then he would be like, I want like, you know, veal scallopini from Dan Tanner's. That might be kind of like a when I'm rich fantasy. And you should have that. Yeah. King. I, honestly, Ab- when you're like, at you're some good. point, you should just have. Yeah. 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 yeah but and then yeah. he fired me and then he died like three months later. So Yikes. I killed him. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. You heard it. Here. Okay. Rest in peace. Do you have any other like, do you have another a rich fantasy? Maybe um like a masseuse that comes to the house. That's, oh. that's another My stepfather amazing has one. that. That's a really good one. Yeah. Still good married that. to your mother? That's right. Okay. <laughs> Justina's. I know. I heard sketchy. I heard bringing it back to daddies. <laughs> I heard masseuse coming to the house. Daddy. So I was like, no, just gonna yeah. check. Never no, know. but he has that, and so I've been treated to that once. Like you know, like she was there, and they're like, Delaney, <laughs> do you want? Don't get your don't. Don't you? Maybe just ask for stepdad. <laughs> single. You never know. Some people have stepfathers that are no longer it's in the. Pit. Funny because my stepfather looks like Lance Armstrong, and then my mother looks like Cheryl Crow, and I'm not kidding. That's an amazing. Did like, you that's just a put great, that together? No. Oh, but it sounded like, like a huge did. epiphany. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, no. But yeah, okay. no. He, Congratulations they're, they're on hot parents. Yeah. Thank that's you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You know, and then my actual dad looks like Babe Ruth. Do you even know who? Yes, of course. Yeah. I was <laughs> no, I literally the was candy just conjuring bar. him in my head. <laughs> yeah, he's the candy, right? We know candy. Um, wait, that is. So, we had. Um, we worked at an office pre-pandemic when you know you had office spaces that you could go to with other people. Um, that where a masseuse would come weekly. Do you oh, remember? Yes, and we got to use it once. <sighs> I had never felt more rich. Like I was like, this is actually my like top tier moment. It's yeah. never going to get better from. This. Except I did not like it in the middle of the work day because the true richness would have been having that and going home. But I remember going 100%. at like eleven o'clock and getting all like lubed and massaged, and then oh, they, screw like, that. Yeah, like, putting your you blouse up, like, back okay, on. Okay, go in. 
answer your emails, peasant. And I was like, oh, okay. No, the <laughs> worst was over. like the blouse over the like oil. You're like, it's fine. It's like, fine. I guess the this back is of over your now. hair is like sticky. You're back like, to my okay. entry level oh, job. Yeah. yeah. Humiliating. But it was still pretty amazing, although it was weird that it happened in like a conference room. Is they this just, in like, spring place? Yeah. They just like yeah. drew the blinds and it's like you're in a full like boardroom. I hate just, that. Like, I, I do hate yeah. that. But I mean, <laughs> still, the masseuse coming to you is a game changer. Have you had any like crazy LA moments? Absolutely. Of course. But I, it was funny is that the the story that i was alluding to earlier that ended up on demois oh yeah wait, tell yeah. like that's very much like the perfect la story and then you know once i realized like oh these things can go on the internet yeah. and, and get picked up and blah 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 and then people you know um what you say is forever a little bit yeah but um that was like such a good one and it really just involved me um ending up in a car with somebody who like had done movie musicals and i i like played one of the songs from the movie That's musical hilarious. on ox and it just like wasn't received like the way that i thought it was gonna i, I thought it was gonna be so <laughs> fucking funny wait who like so you if you were in the car with this person who like submitted this to dumois i i uh you? it was a clip that went on tiktok oh yes I see, and then I that see. went crazy and then i was you like know, who spotted you yeah no 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 but um, the person in the car was like fuck well, this that's what I mean. like I'm somebody in traffic this. like that's delaney bro and yeah no thank god oh. no that i i've had funny like d um, you know like basically exactly like who you would imagine has like slid in mm -hmm. you, you know what i mean do you like, slide like, into celebrity dms i would or never do they slide into yours? i would never never um uh, you know i'm like fun like funny girl on the internet you know i say with parentheses but i or what are these quotation marks not parentheses um <laughs> get it right um pemdos uh, <laughs> um pemdos is so good what a great throwback <laughs> but like you know i attract a certain kind of gentleman in the industry mm -hmm. to the dms you know, I, you know like funny people I got Invisalign recently, which mm. is like a choice at my oh, age. You can't snack. I can't snack. And so I'm like, okay. Oh, that this would be horrible like for me. Challenge accepted. <laughs> it, well, you're just constantly like taking it out of your yeah. mouth. It's exhausting. I'm like, okay, fine. I guess I'm I like just, just eating meals. I need three beverages at all times. Like I have a hot the beverage. The drinks are hard uh, for me. La Croix and like a water. I don't know how I could Invisalign and not. Do you no, have to take Invisalign out for like beverages? Any drink outside of water, it's oh, it's fuck. a crime. Yeah, no, I it's actually do it. I I got Invisalign on accident. I got bamboozled <laughs> into Invisalign. Interesting, you which is not true. Sold into an MLM. No, I did it on purpose. But I would like to say on record <laughs> that Invisalign is not what like people think it is. Like I thought it was just these cutie little trays that you like popped in every once in a while, like and it was We're fine. Get, like a season. I'm sorry. I like <laughs> listen. I'm gonna be like thrilled about it in like five years or whenever the fuck it's done. Yeah, but like but you're gonna no, have perfect teeth. You know why? Because I had Invisalign. You did? Okay, oh. can we just break down? <laughs> and my teeth are crooked. Did you know Whoa, about the okay, attachments? Let's talk about this. Yeah. Okay. I like just one, like just fell off like three days wait, ago. Wait, wait, wait. So and I lady. haven't had it for three years. Did you finish <laughs> Invisalign hilarious. and your teeth were not straight? <laughs> they were. And then they moved. Y yeah. Do they give you like Do a, you retainer? a retainer? Of course. What? Religiously. Still moved. Wow. So. Not to, you know. I quit. <laughs> I'm going hey, back to hey, eating and I drinking. I have stubborn teeth, so I think that I also had braces. I want like a oh, I've never had braces. This. So this is like my, I don't know, like weird adult Oh, see, I thing. had braces, and then my teeth moved again, and I was like, should I get Invisalign? Because my teeth okay, moved again. Okay, well, then this I'm is all veneers. a scam. That's what I'm going to do. going to get turkey teeth? What's veneers? turkey teeth? <laughs> getting teeth and turkey. turkey. And they get brand new teeth. People go to Turkey to get Yeah, that's thing. like a thing where yeah. they go for like nose draw. Like they go for they all go to plastic Turkey surgery. and they come back with like a set of like insane <laughs> fake <laughs> that's teeth. That's amazing. Turkey teeth. That's great. Yeah, it's so baby. good. Maybe you go to Turkey, you get Turkey Maybe. teeth, the BBL, nose draw. <laughs> Fantastic. They do. Yeah, it's wild. Something in LA that's overrated and something in LA that's Ooh, underrated. Yeah, I like this question. Gosh. Something in LA that is overrated hiking and then something in LA that is underrated. Um, the walkability of mm. neighborhoods like I'm a Silver huge Lake and Echo walker Park. in LA. I love walking. I, 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 no I what's so funny is I just basically gave two different versions of walking. <laughs> um, well, I was gonna say, do you not like hiking in general, or do you not like hikes in LA? I don't like hiking in general. I don't like the outdoors. It's not even in a prissy way. I'm just, I'm maybe a little. Um, I, I, I <laughs> it's like I a I waste of mean, time. Also, I don't know. Yeah, what are wanna, we getting to? We're just walk just to do it. What? Yeah. You know, when at least walking, I'm walking like from A to B. Area. I'm going, you know, I'm walking, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, that so that's how I feel. Um, 
Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like those are kind hiking of Hiking is walking. Too, no, those though. are good. I feel like hiking is one we get off and that's overrated, which yeah. I think is so funny. That's I really true. like to hike. Yeah. I always plan it with like somebody that I want to catch up with. And then we're just like shooting the shit, walking, talking. Which I love my... hearing. I love being on a hike and hearing people talking shit. That's like the best part of it. There are some good Not overheard that hearing, happen like, the people on... behind me. There's like definitely shit. conversations where I'm like chatting with my friend and my like other ear is going like crazy because I hear like the people in front of us and I'm like, yeah. I'm going to need you to stop for a second. Also, hiking I can't trails are one. the only places in LA that people are nice. It's like the only hiking place. Hiking trails? Yeah. Like on hiking trails, pe- people will be like, good morning. I yeah, don't know like, if that's true. Sometimes like that's true. So and then nice. other times people look at you like, what the fuck are you looking at? And I'm like, I'm mm. so sorry to be in the world with you. <laughs> <laughs> in general, do you think people in LA are mean? I feel like. It's really, really hard to generalize. I think people in LA, there's definitely not like a like a friendliness to strangers in LA that I feel like you experience in like other cities. I think is I don't know. There's just like a more. I think there's like this weird like privacy or like I don't know where it's like people get like weird people about you like, like looking interact at with them. strangers. Yeah. That much where I feel in like LA. in New York, like no, in New York, I feel like nobody's like acknowledging each yeah. other on the street. Nobody but gives like a in fuck a, about each other, but in, in a good way. Uh-huh. I feel like. I'm from the Midwest, so people are generally like nice to each other. So it's like, hello. Where I feel like here, it's just like, eh, don't really like, look at me, don't talk to, the, to like, me. Celebrity, I don't know. Maybe it's like a status thing yeah. here that people are like, well, I'm not talking to. I don't know. Hmm. How it's, do you feel about yeah, that? How do you answer that? I really, I feel like I don't I, go I, outside. I, <laughs> truly, I did not leave my apartment for actually three days straight this week. Is that? Are you okay with that? Yeah, I, I'm the same way. I, c- I like. I didn't because of the boot, and I was going fucking crazy. Yeah. I yeah, how did it. that happen? Um, it not, I was I was dancing to Taylor Swift, but not at Eras Tour. Okay, so at home, <laughs> yeah. And you just just did it. Well, I was doing like a I was doing like a workout, and I was just getting so into the Taylor Swift song, and I just twisted it really really bad, and I like went down in slow motion, and I was like, that no. was bad. No, I'm <laughs> so sorry. And after all that, I didn't. And I went to urgent care because okay. I honestly. The thing is, like, I really did think it was broken, but Urgent Care took X-rays. What song was it? it? Style. Oh, I know. Love it. And after all that, I didn't get to go to Eras Tour. Yeah. Um, Are you a Taylor fan? Of course. Yeah. I mean, of course. It's really hard not to be. No. I mean, there's what is not to love. If anything, people now that are like haters are only doing it to be like contrarian. Like they're only doing it to be like, I hate Taylor Swift. Literally. It's very like. I find it so exhausting. It's yeah. like, it's talking like to Barbie men haters, like, honestly. Like talking Bar- to men yeah. about Taylor Swift is just. It's exhausting. It's like Barbie haters. It's like, I'm just doing this to be contrarian and like be like divisive for some reason, but there's mm-hmm. not really a. I haven't seen it yet, but. I haven't either, <laughs> but, but I, I don't hate I it, it for no reason. You're like, uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. What's your Uber rating? Um, I think it's like. Are you in good standing? Uh, definitely. I think it's, you know, four point eight nine something you know that's I just, nice i that's recently good. found out that mine wasn't like i'm i think i'm kind of a perfectionist and i found out mine was not a perfect five and i was like why i don't think anybody like what did i get docked for? no i don't know anybody with a perfect five i've never like thrown up in an uber like what do you get docked for being late i don't know I just to we had a dm recently <laughs> that was something like i took a girl on a date and she threw up and like I reacted like more about the Uber rating than about the throwing up. And I was like, that's incredible. Like that's People actually really, like, really funny. People in our DMs. People will just I'll say bet. anything. Do you have celebrities who slide in and submit stuff ever? All the time. And it's so fun because like sometimes you're like, like you sometimes get a sense of like their funny. sense of humor yeah. based on like what they're sending in. And I'm like, oh, that's like so funny. The but, hardest like, thing to me is when like a big celebrity sends a quote and I'm just like, that's not funny. <laughs> but then i'm also we don't post it i'm always like okay but is that them or is that like their social media manager yeah, that's yeah. like which all comes back to the like if you're sliding into a celebrity dms how do you know that's not like that's their what's embarrassing their to social me social media manager like yeah half of them have one like yeah i have to admit i did do that a few months ago i was like you know i was i was bolstered by my friend who encourages women to make the first move and so oh, i same did it. friend same friend Bad and, and i was like should i do this and he said yes and i did it because we had already matched on Raya. Okay. But then I never heard, never heard back. Because he might not manage his own socials. Maybe not. Should. It didn't yeah. seem like he did. You know, it was just like all just movie posters. So yeah, I was like, oh, yeah definitely not. not. Forget it. Yeah. We, we could dive into some of our DMs. Yeah. This lady abruptly came up to me weirdly close to my face and asked if she had boogers. It was Lady Gaga. 
That's amazing. I mean, that's honestly so that's relatable. I, I love her that's, more. But like, what a like girls girl. Like, I love yeah. that. Like, yeah, I would be so happy to if be Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga's told me I had her. like spinach in my teeth. I'd be like, queen. <laughs> yeah, like, it's amazing. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, there are so many, so many. La- Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> What did he do? So many. Um, saw Leonardo DiCaprio pretending to roundhouse kick his friend at Lacrimal. <laughs> and that's amazing. God bless him. That's the best moment of that person. Oh, like wait, you no, peaked this in that moment. Favorite. I dropped a hard boiled egg on Alec Baldwin's knee. Ew. <laughs> we need context. <laughs> Why? You're like what holding you a hard boiled egg? On a plane? Like, what? Like, no. Uh, no. He's not. But then you're stuck next to each other. Private. That he's could, fine yeah. private for sure what's it like with like the tiktok royalty world like yeah do you guys all like know each other like mm-hmm. like the monarchy mm-hmm. like all the, the tiktok monarchy. people I know. All... yeah and there was like some of that going on last night it was really fun and it, it, it's interesting there is like like sometimes like drama within it mm-hmm. i am really not in that because there a lot of dating within it a little bit Mm-hmm. a little bit a lot of fucking um <laughs> yeah probably again not really in that either i'm like now my feelings are actually kind of hurt now that i'm thinking about like, why, <laughs> like wait why a minute not, in it. um it, it, there is i think um you know, like different types of creators on there that creators on there that that like harbor different kind of dramas because if you're yourself on that you know, you're definitely attracting attention into like your personal life and your yeah. dating and stuff like that. But then, you know, if you're not yourself and you're just a creator making, you know, sketches and writing comedy, um, I think there's like competitiveness and, you know, that is its own kind of drama. And that's kind of funny. You know, my my most embarrassing one is so at Spring Place, this office where we used to mm-hmm. work. I can say this, right? I can say this. We didn't sign Bleep it out if not. Um, at our, we used to have our, our office was at this fancy office in Beverly Hills called Spring Place, um, which is where the masseuse came and massaged us, even though we were not great. We were much less. We're not that fancy now, but we definitely weren't fancy back then. Um, and I, since youth, um, always just was in love with Leonardo DiCaprio, mm-hmm. which is kind of a thing. It was just kind of a joke. I realize I'm way too old for him now, and that's fine. Um, <laughs> we all are. You know, we aged out. It's okay. But he, like, growing, it was, like, my thing. So my friends for my birthday got me this shirt that was, like, I don't even know what it said. Like, it was, like, a line drawing. It was very artistic, but it was, like, a line drawing of Leonardo DiCaprio's face. Cool. I don't know what it, oh, and it had, like, a, like, a heart with an arrow through it, and it said, like, Leo. And so I come to the, when I started at Overheard, I was freelance. So I, like, came to the office, and Justine was working full time, and I walked in, in my like Leo shirt because I just wore it like a t-shirt all the time like it was kind of like whatever and I walked in my Leo shirt and Justina was like Emily and I didn't know that Leonardo DiCaprio was like an investor at Spring Place and he was there all the time so Justina was like Emily he's here today (laughs) and I'm immediately like uh, and I'm like standing in the hallway wearing a shirt with his face that says Leo with like an arrow with a heart through it. And I was like, it's uh, so good. It I was like such a cutesy. I like turned around and I was like, I, I can't You looked like his biggest fan. I, and Aww, I had I like just that. walked through like the halls and I was like, oh my God, if he saw me, this is so embarrassing. That's endearing. And I mean, I think I like, I think I like put an overheard sweatshirt on. I think on, you changed I, like, out of that. We had some I was, merch laying around. We and had I do merch, think and I was like, I gotta change. I gotta change. It's like I'm not that person. But I was like, if I were to ever come face to face with him wearing a shirt with his face on it, so it anyway. is weird, right? When you're like, I'm wearing this in an ironic and way, and then like, they're like, you're my number and one. I mean, brand. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I still like love you, but like, I'm sorry, this is kind of weird. Like, I think. <laughs> I I say that at the same time that I'm like I think celebrity worship is kind of weird because obviously like when you work in LA I, and you work around a lot of celebrities like the the mystique disappears it's just the Leo the Leo thing was just like a funny like yeah I love him but like oh man that was embarrassing like I don't know if he saw me we will never know he doesn't I don't think he follows the account so he he didn't tell us we could do this forever I all I will say is this Delaney this is really cool thank you for coming on so last minute. Um, oh my god like, what course. did we learn today we learned ohio and idaho are two different places and that Absolutely. idaho is not in the midwest we learned idaho is not in the midwest we learned um what else did we learn delaney is a private chef delaney on is the side. a private I chef i was I'm joking. we learned I'm that joking. stanley <laughs> did not like being vegan no he certainly didn't um but that's okay because yeah. he's eating all the veal scalpini he wants to now <laughs> <laughs> um where can everybody find you on oh, yeah. the tell internet us, tell us your socials so instagram is at delaney row 
And then TikTok is at Delaney says hello. Please come back. Um, Fantastic. Happy Saturday. Thank you guys tour. so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> big day I'm for in you. It. Yeah. Big, big times. <laughs> All ups to Saturn, you know. Um, yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you. That's our show. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>